This is Satya Pratiman of Cirrus Research. The latest earnings playbook report is out. This is a review for the upcoming earnings season. A look at sectors and industries where we see outliers and also a focus on, this, on particular stocks where we, our earnings torpedo models and our fallen angels can apply. The title of this report, Earnings Estimates on the Mend with Industrials Leading the Charge. This curve here represents the, really the, the fall off in earnings growth, the top line growth in the US, uh, in US firms. This is seen among the smaller firms and large cap firms. The, curve, the purple curves are almost identical. The blue line though is really important because what this is beginning to hint at is that the forward year estimates are starting to stabilize. And uh, what this means is that the level of slowdown has really begun to soften. And so a lot of claims about the soft landing are surfacing partly because of this earnings information. For the most part, we've had a year and a half of a severe drop fall off in earnings growth. And we're now starting to see potentially some stabilization underway. Look, looking at it more broadly, what we find is that the earnings backdrop really um, are stabilizing for a number of companies across the groups. When you look at the level of earnings estimates and where they're at, you're looking at maybe seven or nine of these groups where the estimate levels are one standard deviation above normal. And so we think this is very powerful when we consider that not only is the aggregate beginning to stabilize, but a broad number of sectors represent a fairly healthy rebound in the forecasts. In addition to that, what we're also noticing is more of a cyclical thrust with the earnings expectations rising. This is an example of the building products forecast. And what we're seeing is we've had the blue uh, vertical bars represents top line growth as it's been slowing in a sharp way for the last year and a half. This is, uh, makes a ton of sense given the aggressive tightening cycles we've seen. But take a look at what's going on now in the last six months where the estimates have really taken off and you haven't really seen the evidence of building product stabilizing. We suspect this is probably more right than wrong. So it does support really this sort of industrial bias we've had for a while and the fact that now the estimates are now starting to stabilize. In addition to that, uh, the report tends to focus quite a bit on the earnings risks in the system. In this uh, exhibit here, it represents two different models we use. One is the torpedo model, and the second is the fallen angel model. The first is a bearish call. In other words, what are those firms that have incredibly high expectations where there's a ton of conviction? Those tend to be the stocks most at risk. And then look to the other tables as well for the fallen angel candidates. Um, these are names in which the sell side estimates have come down so sharply that they're totally in agreement that the outlook is bad. So to some degree, if you're looking for fallen angel candidates, this, this tends to be a better place to be looking. With any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.